In the underground secret room, a space crack appeared, and Yonka's figure fell out of it. His face was full of sorrow. It's not that Fang Peng didn't know that he could tear up the space, but he still arranged such a damaging trap. Once he knew that Thunder Typhoon Sect headquarter could not be kept, he would not let the enemy use it. Secondly, there may be some lucky thoughts, hoping that he did not react enough to fall into the riots of those mysterious storm crystals. He just don't know how sure he is. In any case, Fang Peng's plan had already failed. Just before the explosion of the mysterious storm crystal, Yang Kai had left the center of the bursting vortex directly following the direction of the source of the burst, and went deep into the ground. This is a great place underground, with dim lights swaying all around, and there are five people lying on the ground. Yang Kai saw that they will be dead soon, and he frowned. It seems that the five of them made the move just now. After all, it is the large sect that has been in operation for tens of thousands of years. At the most dangerous moment, there are still people who are willing to stay and die with the sect and give their life. You really are not dead, Fang Peng didn't say anything wrong. His weak voice came from the side, Yang Kai looked up and saw a skinny old man with a yellow face lying there looking at him, dry. His lips squirmed, his face was a little unwilling and unbelievable, the Space Force name is well deserved. Senior, thank you. Yang Kai snorted coldly, stepped forward, and stood still five steps in front of him, knowing that such a small action can't kill me. Feng Peng is actually willing to let the five of you stay and die. Okay. Great spirit. The yellow-faced old man chuckled, panting, it's not that he wants us to stay, it's us who stayed. At this time, the kid still wants to provoke. A strange color flashed in Yang Ka's eyes, and he remained silent. The yellow-faced old man coughed lightly and continued, I and the five people have a short life expectancy. If I can drag you down to be buried with you. Naturally, it is a big profit, and it can be regarded as the last thing to do for the sect before dying. It's up, so knowing that hope is slim, I have to give it a go. People are dying, and they so many things. Yang Kai was lack of interest, tell me where Fang Peng went. I will leave you a whole body. Hee <laughs> hee. The kid is quick to talk, if I met you a few years ago, maybe the old man would treat you differently. Fang Peng said. He said. What did he say? He said let you go to Star Emperor Mountain. Find him. The yellow-faced old man seemed to have drained his last life and squeezed out a word with extreme difficulty. After speaking, he lost his breath. The other four were also as early as when Yang Kai was talking to the yellow-faced old man. Passed away successively. Frowning at the corpses of these five people, Yang Kai slowly shook his head, without the thought of moving them, stretched his hand in front of him, and the space was immediately torn apart. Thunder Wind Canyon the battleship was suspended in midair, and the hatch opened wide. Yixian and others all rushed out, looking forward anxiously and worriedly. The explosion has subsided, but looking around the original imposing Thunder Typhoon Sect headquarter has become a ruin. On the original site there is only one that is tens of meters deep and covers an area of tens of square meters big pit. Yangkai is nowhere to be seen. Everyone's heart is jumping to their heart. The energy riot like that just now, if it weren't for the guard of the battleship, everyone present would have died, let alone Yang Kai who had already penetrated into it. Everyone was worried for him, lest Yang Kai would be buried in it. Looking for me. An abrupt voice suddenly came from behind. Everyone was shocked. They turned their heads and suddenly found that Yang Kai did not know when he had appeared not far behind them, standing there intact. Everyone's expressions became extremely weird, and they didn't even notice Yang Kai's appearance, as if he appeared out of thin air. Yang Kai, are you okay? Chi Tong hurriedly asked. It's okay, come in first. Yang Kai stepped into the battleship, turning around to signal everyone to follow. After a while, the battleship turned around and sailed out of Thunderwind Canyon.
Inside the battleship junk I briefly recounted the results of this trip and everyone could not help but feel a little sigh. Those five should be the elders of Thunder Typhoon sect. They are all elderly people, I'm afraid they are one or two generations higher than me and old Fei. Qian Tong said softly, in fact, each big forces have something like this, and I also have a few in the Shadow Moon Palace but they don't ask about world affairs and they are closed all year round. Unless there is a major change they will not leave the customs until they die of old age. Yes, these five people can do this. Although they are enemies they are still admirable. Fei Jitu nodded slightly from the side. Regardless of whether they are respectable or not, now Fang Peng has fled the Star Emperor Mountain, which saves me from wasting time to find him. Yang Kai hummed lightly. If Fang Peng was to hide his name from then on, it would be really troublesome. But where is it not good for him to go? He went to Star Emperor Mountain and was throwing Yang Kai into his arms. The next target of the battleship is Star Emperor Mountain. Feng Peng guessed this, so he went there to wait. Great Elder. Yang Kai raised his head and looked at Yi Xian. Now that you have nothing to hide, I haven't asked about Star Emperor Mountain before, but now, I want to know. The more detail the better. This palace master doesn't mean to conceal it, it's just that the sect master has never asked before. Yi Xian touched her ears, since the sect master wants to know, this palace master naturally knows everything. Good. Yang Kai nodded in satisfaction. Er. Yang Kai, old man and old Fei, do you want us to avoid it? Qi Antong hesitated. Hearing what Yang Kai and Yi Xian meant, he seemed to be talking about some secrets of Star Emperor Mountain. Of course he was embarrassed to stay. No, they are not outsiders. Yang Kai waved his hand. That. Okay. Qi Antong didn't insist anymore, and looked at Yi Xian with Yang Kai, pretending to listen intently. He was also very curious about Star Emperor Mountain. After all, this force has always been mysterious, but it is the undisputed number one force of the Shadowed Star. Where to start? Yi Xian frowned slightly, as if she was sorting out her words. After a while, she continued, External rumors say that Star Emperor Mountain is related to the Great Emperor. In fact, this is not groundless, but it is true. The truth is, Star Emperor Mountain is actually a legacy of Supreme Profound Sect. The Legacy of Supreme Profound Sect. Yang Kai was dumbfounded. Indeed. Supreme Profound Sect. Qi Antong frowned, what kind of sect is this? Why have I never heard of it? Fei Jitu also shook his head slowly, saying that he had never heard of it. Yang Kai grinned and said, the place occupied by High Heaven Sect now is the site of Supreme Profound Sect which is the ancient sect. It has disappeared for tens of thousands of years. Naturally, the two have never heard of it. So that's it. Qi Antong and Fei Jitu looked clear. The Great Elder can continue. Yang Kai moistened. Supreme Profound Sect is the place where the Great Emperor stayed, and it was also supported by the Great Emperor. But the Great Emperor was almost defeated. A strong enemy of the Great Emperor suddenly came to visit one day. The two of them had a disagreement, and they fought. Even though the enemy was annihilated, the Great Emperor also fell into a long deep sleep, and the place where Supreme Profound Sect was located became Flowing Flame Sand Field. Sect Master should also know these things. Well, I've heard of it. Yang Kai nodded lightly. He looked plain, and he had heard about this information, so naturally he wouldn't make a fuss, but Qian Tong and Fei Ji Tu both stared at the side, breathing quickly, and looked strange. Although Yi Xian didn't say a few words, they snooped some incredible information from it. The rumored Star Emperor with his hands and eyes pierced the sky, unexpectedly has enemies that can match him. Even though the powerful enemy was destroyed in the battle, the Great Emperor seemed to be seriously injured. Does this enemy have the same cultivation realm as the Great Emperor? This is a terrible thing. The two just had a fight and a flowing flame sand field appeared on the shadowed star. Moreover, listening to the meaning in Yixian's words, the great emperor seemed to be alive but fell asleep. As a legend, the prestige of the star emperor is rooted in the human heart and his strength is undisputed. 
According to legend, he can pick the stars and invite the moon, he can easily destroy a cultivation star, and he can traverse the entire star territory in one day. There are simply too many legends about the Great Emperor, and they are all unthinkable. Although Qian Tong and Fei Ji to admire the Great Emperor, they never thought that such a powerful existence would still live in the world. At this moment, when they heard such secrets at first, the shock in their heart was impossible to add, and couldn't return to their senses for a long time. This was what Yi Xian said, so they believed one or two. If someone else said it, they would just sneer. Regardless of whether the battle was won or lost, Supreme Profound Sect was affected, with heavy losses, and few survivors. Those who survived in the end can only move elsewhere. They are the founders of Star Emperor Mountain. Yi Xian voice came and Qian Tong and Fei Ji Tu were pulled back. In Star Emperor Mountain, there is a portrait of the Great Emperor, so it was only that day this palace master. Yi Xian stopped talking, and did not finish. Yang Kai knew what she wanted to say. The reason why she was so heartfelt to her when she saw Yang Yan and recognized that she was the great emperor was precisely because of the portrait passed down from ancient times. In the past hundreds of years, Yi Xian has witnessed the charm of the great emperor countless times. The ancient precepts of Star Emperor Mountain The existence of Star Emperor Mountain is only for the Great Emperor, and the Great Emperor will reawaken one day, and Star Emperor Mountain will become the right-hand man of the Great Emperor. For tens of thousands of years the head of each generation of Star Emperor Mountain has been having persisted in this way, it never cares about the right and wrong of the outside world, does not interfere with the grievances of the outside world and only wants to wait for the day when the Great Emperor wakes up. This palace master has been in charge of Star Emperor Mountain for hundreds of years, and has also upheld this concept. To be continued.